I am sick of it. They clearly <laughs> big, like, be for real, so. Hey, y'all, I'm still in here, um, looking crusty, mouth, dry, lip. I ain't gonna get y'all. What are they doing? Take a picture? Oh, you said have a nipple. It's your girl Karen Nane. I'm back with another video. If you're new, push that subscribe button. If you're back, hey bitch. But y'all, today is the day that I well, today is the night before surgery. Yeah. These <laughs> well be gone. Let me sit y'all up. Now I know I'm crusty dusty, but y'all I gotta take out my hair. Oh, I forgot I gotta take out my hair. It's can y'all see? It's 8.46 and I gotta stop eating by 12. This is what I'm eating. Let me show y'all. I made this. Um, basically, I wanna... Basically, I want to freaking vlog this moment. Basically, I just wanted to check in. So, I'm gonna clean up and stuff. I'm gonna check in with y'all. I gotta take a shower certainly. I gotta clean my sheets. And basically... Basically, after that, I will talk to y'all and let y'all know about my surgery. I'm getting a free breast reduction plus a breast lift. Um, I go to surgery tomorrow at 9.45. Um, it's a lot of things I got to do before surgery. So, basically, you got to... They shoes like, the person that you get, make sure they clean in that bed. She was like, make sure those... Make sure them sheets clean. She was like, no dogs in the bed. So, my dog in the cage right now. Um... You gotta wash out regular and then they give you this little foam stuff and she basically wants you to wash with it but she don't want you to like she wants you to like go down like take all the dirt down take all the dirt down so and i gotta do that and then you put to wear a buckle up shirt but i couldn't find one then you gotta sleep on your back so i had to get pillows like it's a lot so basically when i get back to y'all i have some of the stuff out i'm gonna eat this because it just was and i've been on phone i'm gonna eat this and i just really wanted to get to y'all because i've been waiting to do my surgery journey i'll get another surgery in six months I will be getting a drum roll, please. Mega lipo, chin lipo, natural BBL, and then I will go back again. I get my tummy tuck. So y'all yeah, stay tuned for that. Plus size, well I'm chunky, but I'm still plus. Plus size surgery series. Take one part one. Let's get into it. Hey y'all, so I'm back and basically I am ready to take this sewing out of my head. This should look a mess. I already been, you know, fooling around with it. I have to basically wash my hair. Um, they say no weave. I know you can wear weave, but I'm just not going to wear no weave. This hair look, oh, I look crazy, y'all. Let me get y'all close up. I look crazy. So how come I saw in I basically to be honest you could just pull them. That's how I do mine. Start from wherever you put the thread out. I know I did the thread at the top of this one. So I'm gonna just take these out. Um so next on the agenda Y'all will be making a TikTok with a white tee on. Uh, I'm going to use a Sharpie. And I'm going to show y'all where my breasts like stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, basically, when I heal up, which is I will give y'all part two, y'all get a more in debt on my YouTube. So make sure y'all subscribe. Stay with me. We're going to have a moving series soon, a surgery journey, and more vlogs to come. Basically, whatever y'all want to see, because look at this double chair. I am sick. I am sick of it. So, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that, but let's, we got to get this shit out. And I don't know if I'm gonna do it ponytail because that that shit probably gets so nappy and I can't 
I ain't gonna be able to lift my arms up to do that. So I probably um just I'ma just do that. I'ma just put my hair in two braids, look like Queen Latifah. I take my nose ring out, and my friend was supposed to give me a plastic one, but something happened, so she couldn't come through. What it is? I take it out and I force it back in, cause y'all know they close fast. If you got a nose ring, you know. So you know, you know, you got that. So. I know. I probably just get back with y'all when my hair is washed and dried because my man ready to come home we'll talk to him for a little bit so we gotta talk this surgery stuff up after i do my face routine we will close the blog well we will close the night because the blog won't be closed until in the morning i will show y'all everything about my surgery you know surgery day and show y'all a few things that i had to do and you know I gotta do all that shower stuff and all that. Like, I can't take y'all in the shower with me. Unless y'all want to see. <laughs> no, plan. That's just for me and my man, honey. But, journey mean a lot to me because <sighs> I gained weight. Let me show y'all what I used to look like. I gained weight in 2020. So, let's just nip that in the bud right now. Hold on, can y'all see? Wait a minute. Clear my screen for you. I only had like a little gut. Cause I did I had a I had a kid. I was a teen mom. So I only had like a little gut, but I had no love handles. So that is a cute shape on me. You feel me? And my face. Okay. Is it steady? So I had no stomach just breasts so that's why i'm getting my you know they low and they like big like a raindrop so i looked at very cute and you can see my face right there yep that's a good i had i had no double chin this is when i first started dating my dude and i look like this now like this now i have a double chin as you see you see it under there and it look really bad when you bend your chin down I'm really round like super round like only if y'all can see what I see I'm round like I got on black but I am round look at my stomach like ugh. I'm round if you know you could tell look at look at my stomach I don't like like how I look now so, you can see I look pregnant. Like, I'm round like a butter ball. Like, I look pregnant. I basically look pregnant. That's what I'm saying. I look pregnant and I'm not pregnant. So, and I have a double chin. Y'all yeah, see it. It's ugly. But I'm still cute. But still, like, that shit, y'all don't understand. Like, that shit bothers me. Like, it just bothers me. Like, I'm not, that's what I said, I'm not doing too much, like, like, when I even get surgery, like, my second surgery, like, I'm showing them, I'm showing them, like, a picture of me, like, that picture in the gray, and I got a picture of, like, my hiney, like, behind, that's, I want to look back, just, just back to how, you know what I'm saying, so I'm going to take y'all on this with me, and I want y'all to pray for me. And uh, yeah, so my man, he just got here. So I know, I told y'all, I'm going to get back with y'all. I'm going to get back with y'all um, when I get in the shower. After I get out the shower, I'm going to show y'all a few things that the surgery people gave me. So we'll be back. Hey, y'all, so I'm back and I'm um, fresh out the shower. My face is really working out. So... I gotta do the face routine. It's been a minute. Like, and it ain't like breaking out with like black ends or nothing like that. It's like it's like heat bumps. Um I use this witch hazel. The hard thing on the back. And some q-tips. So start off with my q-tips. Clean my face. 
I will be putting music over. <laughs> I mix it with water because I don't really like like that thick paste on my face. So put it like this. And it might not look oily, but it will. You'll see it. That's my mini little face routine. Ugh. Greasy as hell. I don't like a white shirt and I'm a basically so TikTok like my before this is a before and after for y'all too. So basically my boobs are like a raindrop like all she said all of this is tissue then my breast is down here. So like you may think like oh you don't need a brush or like yes I do they are let me try to get y'all like y'all see this this is one look how big it is this is one so it's this is another one they clearly <laughs> big like be for real so tiktok ain't getting that <laughs> exclusive but i, I got y'all i had to show y'all
be nervous, but shit, it is what it is. So I get with y'all. Good morning, y'all. I try to puff my bonnet up. My hair is in two braids, so this is the day of surgery. It's 9 10 and I have to be there by 9 45, but it's literally up the street. So I basically wanted to tell y'all a little bit of what I had to do. First and foremost, I got a package from so I had to see two people. So basically, this is like my post op situation, basically telling me what to do like pain management i'm gonna be taking tylenol every eight hours let me highlight that uh, a thousand milligrams and do not so they want me to take it so i probably just do it three times a day or whatever post-op care um tell me what to do like they explain a little bit about my dreams i'm gonna have two dreams y'all Two drains hanging on me, and I ordered some off Amazon to keep them because I don't want them to just hang. Because I spoke to my sister last night, and my sister was basically saying, like, when she took a shower, she was scared to let them just drop. So I ordered this thing that my drains could sit in, like, when I'm in the shower and not in the shower. So they got a waterproof one and not a waterproof one. So basically, when I have drains, clearly I know, like, blood going to be in the drain. And they want me to pour it in this cup, and they want me to basically jot it down. Okay. Also, the area I am going to Trippingham Hospital. That's at HCA. I don't know what that means, but hey. So basically, they were showing me that first of all, y'all, y'all don't get you could get your surgery day months before, but you would not get your time until the day before. So I got my time literally yesterday. They told me nine forty five. So she basically basically a map basically showing like where i'm gonna get dropped off that basically i don't stay i go home the same day um this was basically a list of stuff i can read all the highlighted stuff but y'all probably don't care but i'm gonna just tell y'all anyway they wanted me to basically bathe with this soap that they gave me and so basically it was like i used three fucking soaps so i used the bar soap to wash my body then I use like the the body wash and my little sponge and I scrub my body. Then I got another washcloth and I use that that little soap they gave me because they want you to like go down, down, like just take don't rub that and just we taking the germs off. Like they don't want no germs. Excuse me. And then they said wash from your neck down with that soap or whatever. Rinse your body, blah, 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 blah. Like, I already told y'all that shit. So, they want you to, I told y'all last night, I was making my bed up and stuff, putting fresh sheets on. They wanted me to do that the night before surgery. I also had to take a shower the night before surgery, and I just got the shower just now. So, then, for your loved one, when they pick you up, they can do test messages and stuff. And it'll tell them when I'm ready. Um... This is basically about this drink I had to drink. I had to drink this. Mind you, you can't even eat after midnight. You can't eat or drink after midnight. But two hours before your surgery, you can. But then an hour before you get in the car, they want you to drink this. Can y'all see? Damn. It's just a freaking surgery, a pre-surgery insure. And they wanted me to drink it to this line right here because I am a pre-diabetic and it's too sweet. So they didn't want me to, so you know, too much sugar. So I did that. And pretty much, if you take medications or whatever, they want you to bring this medication thing filled out with the medicines you've been taking. Like, I haven't been taking no medicine. I do got, like, a cyst on the back of my neck, but I haven't, I haven't been taking no medicine within those seven days. So I don't have to, basically, I don't have to tell them, so... That's pretty much it. Um, I am nervous. I have my prescription. They gave me... What they give you for pain? Oxy. Which is, I'm scared to take those, but they gave me that. Um, I'm excited. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. You know, all I did was put on deodorant. Under my boobs be sweating, so I'm kind of nervous about that because I usually put deodorant under my boobs. Um... So I got me a coloring book too, y'all, for after surgery. Um, I will be playing the PlayStation after surgery. 
Um, let me show y'all the thing I ordered with my dreams. So the top one is like during the day. That one right there, that's like the shower one. So, because I'm going to have two drinks, but I want y'all to get another. Say hey to the camera. No. But basically, we ready to go. Well, he want to say something. <laughs> It's basically 917. We still win. I'm waiting. I gotta have a coat. I don't know. I feel like this is so stretchy that they could keep my arms down, put it around my arms, and just literally pull it around my head. But because I didn't get no buckle up shirt, so I got on. Clean my camera. This is the overview of what I got on. Little shorts. Last time, y'all gonna get a look at these breasts. So. They swing everywhere, so basically, it's time to do a thumbnail. Oh, so empty. <laughs> so mean like that get them a nice smile so they can see yes but i'm out of here y'all hey y'all yes the quality look different it's dark in here but um i got here at like 9 45 they called me in the back at like 10 i don't even know my surgery is scheduled for 10 45 i mean 11 45 they try to do the IVs and it didn't work. Um, then they gave me these. They wanted me to take five pills, y'all. I cannot swallow pills, so I only took three. I refused other ones, but uh, my lips are so crusty in here. But I'm in here just waiting. This shit so fucking hot. Under my breast is already sweating, but this is an overview. And I'll just keep y'all up there. V do get in here because they got to use the ultrasound to find my IV. So I might just go to sleep because I'm tired. <sighs> hey, y'all, I'm still in here um, looking crusty. Mouth dry, lips dry. Like, oh. Uh. So they marked me up. Mark me up. Whatever, so my nipple will be right here now. Because they don't look too, too whatever. Like, I wanted it higher than that. But they only can take you um, down a certain amount. So, because blood got to flow. They can't take you as small as you, you think you can be. So I just told her to do as small as you can. I finally got the IV in my arm. They had to do an ultrasound because they couldn't they couldn't feel it. Um I met with my doctor. I really haven't been like recording. I've been on the phone. Like I'm really like <sighs> Yeah, I'm just really going through it right now. Not even with the surgery, just I just feel some type of way. Um they got me a prescription. All right, bye, y'all. Hey, vlog. Um, so I didn't make it home. I told y'all usually I go, I go home after the surgery, but I guess the anesthesia was like still in me, and my whole body was like numb. And she kept trying to get me to bend my knees. They won't bend. Um. And clearly, you know, I live upstairs um, in my apartment. I live on the second floor. So I couldn't leave. And I'm sorry if I look crusty, y'all. I'm just 
I'm trying not to move. I wish I had a hospital bed at home, but I I think I feel them stitches. If I get pain underneath my breast, they ask me, they keep asking me, well, I got admitted and basically I had to stay. And she basically said like, after my surgery at four, I was done at four o'clock, 4, 4 p.m. And all the way from four to seven, I just kept going in and out, in and out, in and out. Like I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't stay up. I just couldn't. Um, so I like ate something. I did, I do know they brought me up here and I stayed in, um, my pain right now, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> I still haven't ate, I haven't ate since 12 o'clock at night. I ate crackers and I, I just keep, I kept, in the beginning, I kept just feeling nauseous. Um, I kept throwing up just water. She gave me apple juice, I threw it up. Um. I haven't been up, they got me on bed rest. I got a period between my legs, like, so I can't even get up and go to the bathroom. My muscles and my calves, they hurt really bad. Like, everybody's body takes different, like, to the anesthesia. Um, and I could tell they had, like, a tube in my mouth. Like, my, my throat really hurt. Um, I didn't even look at the girls. They... They keep opening it, but I'm not even, I'm not even looking at them. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so busy just trying to make sure I'm okay. Like, this got me second thinking my, my other surgery, because I'm, like, scared. Like, if this was, is this going, you know, is this what's going to happen? Like, everybody's body just takes, it's, it's different. And I know I was gonna just wait six months. Like I probably have to wait twelve months to get my other surgery because this is wicked. And to me, they take better care of you anyway at a hospital. <laughs> like they gonna give me what I need. Like you already know how them surgery people are when you go out of town or out of state, overseas. Like they don't give a fuck. That's how people be fucking dying. They like they just don't. So. Um, I just wanted to get y'all update. It's freaking five something in the morning. I'm just in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> like that's all I can do. I haven't even I haven't even been on my phone, so I will text everybody. I'm I'm sorry. I haven't texted none of y'all. But I'm gonna stay up for a little bit and I'm gonna just try to scratch my legs and stuff but i just keep using the bathroom and i stop drinking stuff i just keep using the bathroom i can't stop using the bathroom my hair okay my braids they still in because i know they loose <laughs> yeah, they still in but yeah i don't know what this is in my ear honey but I don't know what that is, but I could try to give y'all like a. These are my breasts. But now my stomach poke out more. My boyfriend said, You better wear your waist trainer. I said, I am, honey. I am. I already get to it. Trying to lose some of this before I even get surgery. I'm going to lose, lose this weight. And even before I get surgery, I need this anesthesia out of my body, honey. That shit is powerful. They need to keep that shit away from people. But when I got my tonsil removed, I swear, that's why, I, I swear to God, like, this surgery, I was so excited to do the anesthesia. Because I'm like, yeah, they ready to be working for a long time. But when they give me the anesthesia, like, I'm ready to be out and then I'm ready to be up, like. They gave me the anesthesia for my tonsils. I was out and I was up. They called my name like a few times. I was in and out, but I swear like a voice in my head was like, bitch, open your eyes. So I opened my eyes. I came in the little room like this. I was up. I was eating popsicles. Oh, I was good. I went home. Like, I went home the same day. The same or the next day. But it don't matter. I think he monitored me because, okay, yeah. I went home the next day, but I was okay. Like, I was okay. All right, y'all. 
I ain't gonna get y'all. What are they? Take a picture? Oh, you see, I have a nipple. You got Wait a minute, you want to pull this back a little bit so you can see? I don't want to see that. Y'all, finally made it home. Um, it's like four or something. I just took my pain meds. I didn't, I didn't take my pain meds since 6 a.m. because last night was bad for me. Everybody is different. Don't let me scare you. But last night was bad for me. After the anesthesia and all, I was trying to get up. I kept falling back to sleep over and over and over. I was just sleep. Um, my body was super numb. I couldn't like, I could move like certain pieces of my body, but I couldn't. I felt like my legs were sore, but he said my muscles. So, like, my calves was hurting, so that's why they was hurting. He was like, some of the anesthesia to do something to your muscles. Like, you just got to, like, he need, they needed me to stay over. I stayed over. I was sick. I threw up multiple times. Um, I was wet in the bed. I had to get a pyrrhic. I was just sick. I couldn't eat. But then this morning, I started to eat. Let's sit right here. This morning, I started eating, and... Ever since then, I didn't get sick, so that's that's good. But what he been taking care of me. He came, but um, no, that's no. it. I get, I just get, y'all just see me in part two. I just, I'm safely at home. It's it's four o'clock, y'all. I'm I'm safely home now. I just took my my meds, so I know I'm ready to be out. It's, it's very hard to get in the bed. It's like every time, you know, as a girl, y'all know, like, your your tits jiggle. So anytime, any movement, and my boobs lean to this side or that side, the stitches hurt. Like, it just burns so bad. Like, just like they were burst open. Like, I'm even scared to take a shower because, you know, I got to take the bra off. Once I take the bra off, they're going to, you know, they're going to drop. Like, I'm scared. Like, that shit going to hurt, but... I right, big old child. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. I should be a little bit more up and happy. So, and my dreams, I still got the gown on, but my dreams, they in me. And that thing I ordered offline to hold my dreams when I'm in the shower. And, you know, when I take a bath, I won't be putting this nightgown on. I got my own nightgowns. I will wear that or whatever. So, I may show y'all that because that's just something useful. But I may show y'all the next vlog. But I get my dreams. I got an appointment. I think they said the 12th. I don't know. I got an appointment. But y'all make sure that y'all take them meds. Don't do like I do and be scared. Because this shit hurt. If you don't take them, you're going to feel everything. I still don't know what I look like. But it's, I can tell it's different. It's a difference. So I could go like this. But I'll get back. I'll stay tuned.